Hello and welcome back to Midnight Tutor. In this video we'd like to show you how you can find some free plotting software for use in your calculus homework. So if you've got some equations you're working with and you don't have a graphing calculator available to you, you can download this software on your personal computer. It happens to be free and you can install it and we want to show you how you might use it so you can plot equations that you have for your calculus homework. Now the application is called WinPlot and it can be found at the following web address http colon slash slash math dot exeter dot edu slash rparis slash winplot dot html the other option is to just go to google and look it up for ourselves so in this case i'm going to go to google and i'm going to search for the application called WinPlot, W-I-N-P-L-O-T, and I do a search. And it'll take me a second or two here to get some reply from the search engine. But when I do, I should get some results. And the first hit I get is WinPlot for Windows, and that's exactly what I want. Notice it's a, the same URL that I just highlighted a second ago. So I click on WinPlot, and this takes me to the web page of interest. I can now choose this link right here and that link will install the software on my hard drive for me. So I'm going to click on this link WinPlot and it gives me the opportunity to save the software to my hard drive. So I'm going to say save and I'm going to put it in a folder called Graph Stuff and it'll save this out. This is going to take five or six seconds to download but once it downloads I'm going to be able to install the software. Now, as it downloads, it's going to come in as a zip file. Okay? So this is a zip file. We're going to have to unzip this using WinZip. So I'm going to highlight the file, right-click on it with my mouse, and I'm going to ask to use WinZip, and I'm going to extract it to this location, this folder on my hard drive. WinZip activates, it unzips the file, and it gives me this executable called winplot.exe. And it happens to be about 1.4 megabytes. So it's not a very large application. It didn't have any other install considerations, so it's just sitting here waiting to be used. So let's go ahead and use the application. I double click on the executable file, winplot.exe, and it opens up with a startup tip and you can either read the startup tip or you can close it. Um, in this case I'm gonna close the startup tip and I want to use the application so I say window and then I want a two-dimensional graph so I say two dimensions and I get a graphing window right here I'll move that out of the way we'll move a couple things out of the way so we can see them okay so I've got a graphing window a typical Cartesian plane, a two-dimensional plane. It's got an x-axis and a y-axis. So I'm in good shape, but I need to input some equation. So I choose the option Equation, and I can choose the first item here called Explicit. So I'm going to choose Explicit, and let's move this up so it can be seen. And in this case, I'm going to plot x squared from the interval minus 2 to plus 2. I say OK, and I get a parabola. I also get this inventory window that I'm going to move down here out of the way, and this contains all the equations that are currently active in my window. So if I want to edit this for some reason, I can come down and say y equals x squared, edit, and I can change it. I can say y equals x squared plus 2, say OK and now I've changed the equation of interest and it moves up the x-axis because it's now x squared plus 2. I can go back and edit it and I can change it to its original form and say OK. If I want to add a second equation I can do that as well. So I go back to equation I say I want another explicit equation and now I can put in some other equations such as sine of x. I say OK and now I have two equations in my inventory window, x squared and sine of x. 
Now in this case, these two inter uh, equations intersect right about here. And if I want to know where they intersect, I might want to zoom in. One option is to use view, zoom, and use zoom in or zoom out. Now zoom in is the page up key, and zoom out is the page down key. So I'm going to zoom in and continue to use the key page up and this will allow me to zoom in much closer and so now I can see that intersection very clearly. Now if I want to know the exact point at which these two equations intersect I can use my mouse and I can left mouse click on that point and it gives me coordinates. In this case the X coordinate is 0.87833 and the Y coordinate is 0.77595. So I can get the coordinates of that intersection very accurately. I can also get the coordinates of this intersection. Now these two equations intersect at the origin, so I can just click on this right here and I get exactly 0 in the X and 0 in the Y direction. Okay, now if I want to return this to its former view, I can use the page down key and that zooms out. And so now I'm back to my original view. And if I want to remove one of these equations, I can just highlight it and say delete the equation. And now I'm back to my original equation. And if I want to get rid of this one as well, I can say delete. And if I want to input a new equation, I just say equation, explicit. And let's say I want to graph x cubed. And I want to graph that from the interval minus 3 to plus 3. I say OK and there's the x cubed function. And if I want to change it in some way I just edit that equation and put in some other information x cubed minus 1 and I've changed the equation that we're plotting. Okay, And once again I can delete that. If I want to put in a new equation, equation explicit Let's go with, back with sine of x and we'll say OK. Now, one other thing you might want to do is go ahead and save this out. There's an option here called File, Save As, and I can save this graph as a particular file, and in this case I'm going to save it to the some other directory, let's say, and I can hit Save and it'll save that out for me so I can bring it back. Okay, now my software is stuck for the moment, so we'll just give it a chance to write itself. Okay, it's back. Now, are there any other options for saving this? Well, we can copy it to the clipboard as well. And this might be helpful for those people who have access to Microsoft Word. So I can say, copy to clipboard, and then I can start Microsoft Word. So Microsoft Word is now starting. And I can say Edit, Paste. And I get that graph pasted into a Word document. And I can now, in Word, go ahead and add more information. OK, let's see if we can get Word to respond here. All right, for some reason it's a little slow right now. But I can say Type in. Well, it's giving me a hard time as well. It should give me, here we go, this is a plot of the function f of x equals sine of x. And we can add more information if we chose to. Okay. So I can space that down and I can now save this out as a Word file and I can send it in email to someone and maybe pose a question to them. Um, whatever question you might have. Uh, write your question here. And so you can save this file out with the graph, add your information, say file, save, and I won't save it this time, but you can. And this allows you to communicate with other people over email. So how did we do that? Let's recap. That was file, copy to the clipboard, and then we opened up Word, and we said edit, paste. 
So that could be a very helpful means of saving out your work, adding some information, and sending it off in, let's say, email to some other person if you want to communicate with them. Finally, we can delete this equation. We can close out of the inventory window, close out of the graphing window. Would we like to save it? No. And finally, we can say window, exit, and it exits out of the application. Once again, to start the application, we just double click on the executable, close out of the tip, window, and ask for a two-dimensional graph. Okay, and then we used equation, explicit, and typed in some equation, x squared. The inventory window allows us to keep track of our equations. We can edit those equations or delete the equations. So I hope this has been instructive in how you can use some free graphing software to plot out your equations. If you have problems you want help with, please send them to midnighttutor.com.